I should check out my other one. I need to check out my other video. Go, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go. Taking pictures of assholes. Let's go. Life is strange. Wait, life is strange. Famously called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's cool i am okay from light you okay to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream bueller weird diane arbus there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Yeah. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? and capture you in a moment of death. If anybody else looked at this, Desperation. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. That to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She had a brilliant eye. I do love my analog camera. She could have taken another I should take a quick picture now. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... I should take a picture, plus it's perfect for my... And I have to get my daily selfie quota. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. Shh, shh, shh. 
I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Yeah. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all Sorry, about Max. No more selfies textbook. right now. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Really, really pretty. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's take a Even look. her school books are gift wrapped. I of course, Victoria has to have. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Oh, that's ugly. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Because she is. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Go, so, let's take pictures. I want to act this bitch. Hey! Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor th Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. What do you think I should do? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I think Victoria has already won the contest. As usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. 
Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. Let's talk later, Max. Bitch. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture chatting slide. I feel like you have to because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. To all of you, American girls in the moon Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. This poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Damn. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be seen. Poor Dana. So nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. 
It looks like she's been gone for months. That's when I fly. I wish October would last forever. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact him to find out what I can do. As if I am. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yay. Thank you. Uh, Mom? Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? 
Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Damn. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. He likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot who believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her. <sighs> Can you give me I an actually example did of a photographer it. who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time condition machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't, don't freak out. Not yet. There yet. you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, shh. shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear to... <laughs> Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after Daguerre class. A French painter and I need Louis time to save Daguerre that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style. Well, 
Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter. Somebody has been... <sighs> the Daguerrean... ...find features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max... Wow, sir, so my old broken camera... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes Contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be in... It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photog- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. When can you? Yo, Daniel, I don't even tease. You, you know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those men. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I... What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that ever. thing down! Tell me what I'm to do. too scared to so get near this psycho. Of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than I need a hammer to break it open. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time punk again, I can they? help her. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! Away from me, psycho! Oh! Shit! No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. 
Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this- Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Can't go that way. Why, bitch? Bitch, I'm controlling you, bitch. Fucking answer me, bitch. I could go for a burger now. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Bitch, you're gonna get ran over. Can't go there with you, bitch. You go this way? Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Bitch. Bitch. You gotta do everything what I say, you mother bitch. You little bitch. The fucking tree. I sit down and talk about how many bitches I fuck. So bizarre to be back here after five years. It is. 
Bitch, you been here for five I thought I could just fit right back though. in at school. Shit. But with all this party. shit going on, I'm Fucking even more an outsider. Bitch. Let's go, let's get the fuck out of here now, you fucking bitch. You know, you know, you know, you know all that shit. You piece of shit. Get inside there. I want. Oh my god. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. You know, bitches. Oh, who this fucking guy is? You laugh at him. Fucking soft. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This Bitch. might be too complicated for you. Mm -hmm. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? Yes, A uh, weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't Beep. crash. Hi, Brooke. Well, I'm... Is that really your... Of... Isn't it... Uh... Hi, Brooke. Let me get. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons. This is a weapon. Uh. Brooke actually has a drone. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Okay, bitch. Guys, I'll see y'all later with another episode. Adios, amigos. Adios.